I just find this extraordinary that there is a crystal, there is a material that you could heat up and create negative ions. The concept that tourmaline crystals can promote happiness by emitting negative ions made me think of a quote from Nikola Tesla. In a crystal, we have clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle. And though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. This topic really caught my attention, so I started looking into the mysteries of crystals. I'm telling you, I found powerful information. So please, stay with me, your mind will be blown. Before we explore Tesla's ideas about crystals, let's first understand more about tourmaline crystals and negative ions. Tourmaline uh, has a, a structure such that if you uh, heat it and cause it to expand, it will actually develop an electric charge on the faces of the, uh, of the crystal. You have discharges between those faces, break down in air and forming uh, ions. And that charge then can get transferred to any organic molecule that's present in the air. A five degree change was enough to generate ions. Tourmaline crystals are highly regarded in both scientific and esoteric circles for their unique electrical properties, particularly their ability to emit negative ions. This characteristic of tourmaline sets it apart from other crystals and has made it a subject of interest in various fields of study. Negative ions are atoms or molecules with more electrons than protons, giving them a net negative charge. These ions are naturally abundant in certain in environments like mountains, waterfalls and beaches, especially where water is in motion. It's the reason why these natural settings often feel refreshing and invigorating. In the context of tourmaline, the crystal is known to produce negative ions under certain conditions, such as when heated or put under pressure, a phenomenon known as piezoelectricity. The emission of negative ions by tourmaline is believed to have several beneficial effects on the human body and mind. One of the primary claims is the impact on mood and overall well-being. It's often suggested that exposure to negative ions can enhance feelings of happiness and reduce feelings of depression or anxiety. This belief is somewhat supported by studies that indicate negative ions in the environment can have a positive effect on mood and psychological well-being. Crystals that share similarities with tourmaline in terms of emitting negative ions and promoting well-being include amethyst, citrine and clear quartz. Like tourmaline, these crystals are believed to have the ability to emit negative ions which are thought to contribute to feelings of happiness and overall well-being. Amethyst is known for its deep purple hue and is highly valued for its purported ability to purify and transmute negative energy into positive energy. It is often used in spaces to create a calming and soothing environment which can indirectly contribute to a sense of happiness and contentment. Citrine, with its bright yellow color, is often associated with positivity and joy. It is believed to emit a frequency that promotes optimism and can help uplift the mood. Citrine is commonly used in practices aimed at attracting abundance and personal development. Clear quartz, known as a master healer, is thought to amplify the energy of other crystals and the intentions of the user. Its capacity to emit negative ions is believed to enhance mental clarity and emotional stability, thereby contributing to an overall sense of happiness and well-being. The advent of X-ray crystallography was a game-changer in understanding the mysterious inner workings of crystals. This technique, which involves directing X-rays at a crystal to observe the diffraction pattern, has uncovered intricate details about the atomic and molecular structure of crystals. Before this technology, the knowledge about the internal structure of crystals was based mostly on observation and hypothesis. With X-ray crystallography, scientists could finally see the exact arrangement of atoms inside crystals. They discovered that crystals are not just random assemblages of molecules, but highly ordered structures with atoms arranged in a repeating pattern forming a lattice. This lattice structure explains many of the physical properties of crystals, such as their shapes, growth patterns, and how they break. 
One of the most significant findings was the discovery of the structure of common table salt, sodium chloride. X-rays showed that sodium and chloride ions are arranged in a simple cubic structure alternating with each other, which explains why salt crystals tend to form cubes. X-ray crystallography also revealed the complex structures of more intricate crystals like diamonds and quartz. In diamonds, carbon atoms are bonded in a strong tetrahedral lattice, making it one of the hardest natural substances. Quartz, on the other hand, has a trigonal crystal structure, with silicon and oxygen atoms creating a spiral-like arrangement which is related to its piezoelectric properties, electric charge generated under mechanical stress. The most revolutionary discovery made using X-ray crystallography was the double helix structure of DNA. This finding, which unveiled the structure of the genetic material in living organisms was crucial in understanding how genetic information is stored and transmitted. Crystals have been linked to ancient power sources in various esoteric and occult traditions. These traditions suggest that ancient civilizations had a deep understanding of the energetic properties of crystals far beyond what is recognized in modern science. The most commonly cited example is the use of crystals in ancient Egypt. Hieroglyphs and artifacts suggest that Egyptians used crystals like quartz in their jewelry and burial practices believed to be not just for decoration but for their power to connect the physical world with the spiritual realm. Some occult scholars argue that Egyptians used the crystals in their lighthouses, harnessing their ability to focus and amplify light. In Atlantis, a legendary island mentioned by the philosopher Plato, crystals are said to have played a central role. Occult texts describe Atlanteans as having used large crystals to harness energy from the sun, the stars, and the ether a kind of invisible energy field. These crystals were supposedly used to power machines, heal illnesses, and in rituals to attain higher states of consciousness. Tibetan and Vedic texts also speak of the use of crystals. They were believed to be tools for spiritual development, aiding in meditation and enlightenment. Some texts suggest that these cultures had detailed knowledge of the vibrational properties of different crystals, using them to balance energies in the body and the environment. The idea that crystals could store and transmit energy is central to their perceived role as ancient power sources. This concept is somewhat mirrored in modern technology, where silicon crystals are used in computer chips and quartz is used in watches for its precise vibrational frequency. Furthermore, crystals have been linked to the concept of ley lines, invisible lines that crisscross the earth. Occult practitioners believe that ancient civilizations built their structures like the pyramids and Stonehenge on these lines. They theorize that crystals were used to tap into these ley lines, harnessing the Earth's natural energy. Another fascinating aspect is a purported use of crystal skulls. Found in various parts of the world, these skulls, often made of quartz or amethyst, are thought to be ancient artifacts imbued with vast knowledge and history. Some occultists believe that these skulls were used in ceremonies to access higher wisdom and to connect with otherworldly realms. In a crystal, we have clear evidence of the existence of a formative life principle, and though we cannot understand the life of a crystal, it is nonetheless a living being. Tesla believed that crystals, particularly quartz, could be used to amplify and transduce energy. This belief was rooted in the piezoelectric properties of quartz, its ability to generate an electric potential in response to applied mechanical stress. Tesla experimented with crystals, aiming to harness these properties for wireless transmission of energy and communication. One of Tesla's lesser-known inventions involved a crystal oscillator. He theorized that a crystal, when cut to the right shape and size and subjected to electric current, could produce a consistent oscillatory frequency. This concept was crucial in the development of radio and other wireless technologies. Tesla's work laid the groundwork for the use of crystal oscillators in modern electronics, such as watches, radios, and computers. Tesla was also fascinated with the potential of crystals for storing and retrieving information. He speculated that crystals might be used to capture and replay thoughts or images akin to a primitive form of recording technology. Although this idea was ahead of its 
time and not realized in his lifetime, it anticipated future technologies that use crystalline structures for data storage. In his more esoteric pursuits, Tesla considered crystals as tools for tapping into universal energy patterns. He believed that the Earth itself was a giant crystal, resonating with its own frequency, and that by understanding this frequency, one could harness the Earth's energy. This concept aligns with the occult beliefs in ley lines or energy grids of the Earth, with crystals acting as conduits or amplifiers of this energy. Tesla's interest in the vibrational properties of crystals extended to their potential healing properties. He experimented with high-frequency electrical currents, Tesla coils, and their interaction with crystalline structures, exploring the possibility of using these frequencies for therapeutic purposes. Quartz crystals are vital in technology due to their unique physical properties, particularly their piezoelectric effect. This effect means that quartz can generate an electrical voltage when subjected to mechanical stress. This property is pivotal in creating precise and stable frequency standards. In electronic circuits, quartz crystals are used as crystal oscillators. The consistent oscillation of quartz under an electric field makes it ideal for keeping time in watches and clocks. This same principle is applied in computers and mobile phones where quartz regulates the frequency of electronic circuits, ensuring accurate operation. Another significant technological application of quartz is in radio frequency transmission and reception. Quartz crystal oscillators are used to generate stable carrier waves for radios and televisions. They're also crucial in the functioning of cell phones, where they help in signal transmission and reception, ensuring clarity and reducing signal loss. In addition, quartz is used in the manufacturing of electronic components like resonators and filters. Its ability to resonate at specific frequencies is employed to filter out unwanted frequencies and stabilize signal transmissions. Quartz thermal stability is another reason for its importance in technology. It can maintain its crystalline properties over a wide temperature range, making it reliable in various environmental conditions. Masaru Emoto's research on water has captured the imagination of many, particularly in the realms of spirituality and alternative medicine. His experiments primarily involved exposing water to different types of stimuli such as words, thoughts, music and prayer, and then freezing it to observe the crystalline structures in the ice. Emoto claimed that positive stimuli produced beautiful, well-formed crystals, while negative stimuli resulted in distorted and irregular formations. This led him to conclude that water could respond to emotional energies and intentions. Although Emoto did not specifically incorporate crystals in his initial experiments, his findings have interesting correlations with the practice of water infusion with crystals. In the world of crystal healing and alternative therapies, it is believed that crystals can impart their energies into water, altering its physical and energetic properties. This concept, while not directly derived from Emoto's work, shares the underlying premise that water is receptive to external energies and can be influenced by them. Crystals, each with their unique vibrational frequencies, are thought to transfer these frequencies to water when they are immersed in it. For example, rose quartz, associated with love and emotional healing, is believed to infuse water with these qualities. Similarly, amethyst, known for its purifying and protective properties, is said to transfer these energies to water, potentially enhancing its quality and the well-being of those who drink it. The practice of infusing water with crystals often involves placing clean, safe crystals directly in water or in a surrounding container where their energetic influence can be imparted without direct contact. Proponents of this practice believe that just as Amato's experiments showed water's responsiveness to emotional energies, the water can also adopt the energetic imprints of the crystals. This idea aligns with the broader concepts in energy medicine and holistic health, where the subtle energetic influences of objects and intentions are considered significant. While the scientific community remains skeptical of these claims due to the lack of empirical evidence and standardized research methodologies, these practices continue to be popular in alternative health circles. Recent research introduces the possibility that crystals may have the capability to alter the alkalinity of water. This concept has led to the exploration of using crystals such as adventurin 
chalcedony, and others to infuse water, potentially enhancing its properties. Aventron, a type of quartz known for its shimmering effect, is traditionally associated with prosperity and clarity of mind. When placed in water, it's believed that aventron can impart these energetic qualities, possibly affecting the water's pH level and making it more alkaline. Alkaline water is often valued for its health benefits, which include improved hydration and potential antioxidant effects. Chalcedony, known for its nurturing and harmonizing attributes, is thought to absorb negative energy and promote emotional balance. The infusion of chalcedony in water might not only influence the alkalinity, but also imbue the water with these calming properties. Beyond aventurine and chalcedony, a variety of other crystals are being explored for their unique effects on water. Each crystal is believed to contribute distinct energetic and physical changes to the water. For example, rose quartz is often associated with love and emotional healing, while amethyst is linked to purification and spiritual growth. The idea is that immersing these crystals in water could transfer their properties, thereby enhancing the water's benefit. One way to benefit from the transformative power of crystals is to drink water from slim crystal bottles. Each of the slim crystal bottles contains nine types of natural crystals inside them. Experts claim that they can provide fantastic benefits to the human body. So, if you're interested in these benefits, please check out the description of this video down below. Nikola Tesla, known for his groundbreaking contributions to the development of electromagnetic technology, has been linked to the concept of purple plates, a topic surrounded by intrigue and esoteric lore. These purple plates, also known as Tesla plates, are said to be influenced by Tesla's research and ideas, although he himself did not directly create them. The purple plates are typically made from anodized aluminium, and are colored purple, believed to be a significant color for its high frequency and energy. The concept behind these plates is that they are infused with Tesla's free energy theory, supposedly harnessing cosmic energy and providing a range of metaphysical benefits. It's claimed that when objects or people come into contact with these plates, they absorb this energy, leading to various positive effects. The theory suggests that these plates can help in energizing and revitalizing the body's natural healing processes. This is based on the idea that living beings have an electromagnetic nature and that the subtle energies from the plates can align and balance the body's energy fields. People have used them for a range of purposes, from promoting physical healing to enhancing meditation and spiritual practices. In addition to their supposed health benefits, purple plates are also believed to energize and structurally change water when placed beneath a container of water. This concept is somewhat related to Masaru Emoto's theory that water's molecular structure can be influenced by external energies and intentions. The origins of the purple plates are traced back to Ralph Bergstresser, a friend and admirer of Tesla, who claimed to have been inspired by Tesla's work to develop them. Bergstresser believed that by capturing the vibrational energy of the universe, as Tesla had theorized, he could imbue the plates with a healing frequency. Despite the lack of scientific evidence to substantiate the claims made about purple plates, they have gained a following in New Age and alternative healing communities. Users of the plates often report subjective improvements in their well-being, energy levels and overall health, although these experiences are anecdotal and not supported by empirical research.